Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here. Going to play some tarot today. Thank you for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time. I know how valuable it is. I also appreciate you reaching out and hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. And uh, reaching over and hitting that subscribe button if you haven't done that for me yet. Thank you, my friends. Definitely want to give a shout out to all my Aries friends that have blessed me with donations. Many of you appreciate them all, large or small. If you have blessed me with a donation, thank you. And of course, all my Aries that have reached out for readings with me. Always a blessing to get to know you on a more personal level. Thank you for all of that, my friends. I appreciate it all. Quick announcement. My next Sunday Funday will be August 25th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Hit the bell if you want the little notification when we go live. Because it's you guys that make them Sunday Fundays. Mm -hmm. I love you chatting with each other and all that fun stuff that goes on. <clears throat> Also got some upcoming news about my meet and greet. Um, uh, big changes coming in with all of that. Um, all that notification will be coming out soon and very soon. Uh, I wanted to have these out by Sunday. And we're still working out some details with some things about the meet and greet. All right, let's play some cards, man. Aries has been pacing enough with old rambling right here. And these cards want to talk anyway. They're jumping all over the place. So let's do it. Here we go. These readings will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2019. Mid-month as we head towards September. These readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Home, work, family, all of that. I myself, I'm going to be focusing on love. That's because I love to read for love. We all know there's no possible way these can be for every Aries on the planet. There's at least 500 million of you, literally. So hey, if this general reading resonates with you, run with it, have fun with it. If it doesn't resonate, have fun throwing it out the door. On my cross watches, I love you guys. You know you're welcome here. I want to remind you, even though I'm going to be saying Aries a lot, this can very well play out from your perspective. Probably will. It's Source playing this game with this tarot right here. They have a way of knowing who's going to be looking at these videos. So let's uh, fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, all those giftings that we all have as we play with this fun, esoteric world of tarot today. Here we go, Aries. And chopping your cards for a minute. Let's tune in. Hey, Terry, we love T. Marys is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Aries see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aries' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love, team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Aries. Cut in the deck. I will be pulling clarifiers out on this spread as well. I failed to mention that. I'm going to be playing with my uh, gilded tarot right here, which I have trimmed down. Uh, this is the Hierophant, for instance. I will be throwing clarifiers out with this deck and also a small five card movie spread about how the other person may be feeling or thinking about you, Aries. All right, here we go. Aries, first card out is Six of Wands. The old triumph and return of the Sun King, Jupiter in Leo. You know, that is uh, the card of victory. Victory after a battle because of confidence in yourself. Shows the young prince prancing into town after the battle, after the hunt, after coming in with the laurel of wreath on the uh, wand of passion there. Victory, all the posse around him. Yeah, 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 you did it, you did it, you did it. You got the victory. It can talk about somebody that may be coming back 
into your life because they ain't found no victory wherever they've been. You can talk about somebody that definitely uh, admires the acclimates that you gave them. Hmm? Could be coming in to give you some acclimates there. Let's see where this goes. I love six of wands in the middle of your spread. Oh, wow. It's crossed over with the ace of wands, a passionate new beginning. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Whoo, man. The name of this card in the books is the thrust and lust of life. Whoo, -hoo, man. There's something passionate coming prancing in here for my Aries. Yeah. Ooh, or if it, it just could be just staying good. Lord have mercy. Nice opening right here in the heartbeat of your Celtic cross. Six of wands crossed over by a new beginning. Hmm? Triumph, victory after a battle because of confidence in yourself. Maybe playing with a fire sign here. Four of pentacles at the base of the spread. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Four of Pentacles talks to me about holding on to somebody with your heart chakra for a while. It's out the distant past right here, but feeling closed off from them as well. You know, desiring stability and all of that to come in, huh? May have been uh, watching the coin and all of that, working in your own world, working on yourself seeing the victory and all of that. But generally this card talks that with a soulmate energy that both of them are reflecting this energy of holding on to each other with their heart chakra but feeling closed off from each other at the same time. Definitely see that myself as a mirroring energy between two soulmates right here that's been going on for quite a while with whoever this Aries is that I'm talking to. Recent past is the fool. The Fool card showing up. This is a major arcana. This is Aries. It's also Uranus, the planet of sudden change. This is Aquarius as well. Uh, you know, the Fool right there. Could be talking that he's ready to take a leap of faith in a new direction, huh? With somebody that's uh, come prancing in right here with that old... Six of Wands. Sixes are nice. They're harmony. And I love the fool. You know, he's carefree. He's got that flower of childlike innocence in his hand. It's like he just got shot out of the sun up on top of the mountains right there. This is the zero card. It's the zero point. The tarot is called the fool's journey. And there he is up on top of the mountains. He's got his little buddy right there. Hey, look out! You're gonna step off the cliff! Well, the fool's always like, well, okay, sirrah, sirrah. Whatever will be, will be. Geronimo, here I go. Yeah, yeah. You know, it may have been standoffish from this person because you didn't want to feel like the fool anymore, huh? Let's see where this is going. Well, a big old fire sign showing up here for many of my Aries. The old king of wands. Crowning your spread. Could they be the one that's coming prancing back in? Could they be the one that could be at, at a minimum thinking about taking this leap of faith towards their Aries? Mm -hmm. Got his hand on his chin right there. This king is in some deep thought. This is a king that gets up and makes something happen. You know, he's fiery and passionate. Generally, this king is somebody, or this queen, is somebody that's very good looking. They have the potential to have many suitors. Has the wand in their hand, huh? Hi, ah, here's my wand. You know, you know him, you love him. King of Wands, crowning your spread with the Fool card. 
the triumph and return of the Sun King. Ace of Wands with somebody that you've been holding on to with a heart chakra and feeling closed off. And like I said, they have too. Because this king, he be thinking all day and all night about somebody, my Aries. Immediate future. Let's just get happy. Let's just do a happy dance. We got a Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Man, that is a big change from the Four of Pentacles. The fool, the fool taking a leap of faith, victory coming in, a passion, a new beginning could go all the way to Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles to me is the quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence and the big pink house. Thank you. The loving couple, wisdom of the years, the babies of the bliss, running in the yard, the doggies with loyalty. Let's not forget about the money in the bank. Heritage, the power couple situation right here. Boy, this king up here, he'd be thinking about, he know where his Ten of Pentacles is at, huh? Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Could very well be this person right here, huh? Telling a story. Telling a story about a passion and new beginning that could go all the way because of confidence in yourself. May have had you feeling like a fool in the past. But uh, this king is definitely thinking about uh, his actions. Thinking about Ten of Pentacles and where he's supposed to be in his life or she. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and how Aries sees the situation. Eight of Pentacles. You know, that is a new beginning. Eights are new beginnings for me. And it is absolutely a card of hard work. Everybody's going to have to work at this situation. There are no slackers allowed here, that's for sure. My little blacksmith gets up early in the morning and starts that fire in that kiln. Takes a minute to melt all that precious metal down, don't it? But he's been focused on what he's working on. And he's pouring it into that pinnacle, that mold that he already made the night before, huh? Letting it cool down. Letting him, cleaning them up, hanging them up for everybody to see. This is what I've been working on right here. Eight pinnacles. I want ten pinnacles. Many of my areas may have been working. Working in this situation while they were dealing with the old fool right over here, wherever they jumped to, huh? Been working on yourself right here, you know, working on your health, your wealth, your spirituality, your career, your coin. I see it right here. Here we go. Exterior influence on top of the return. <laughs> the uh, return of the Sun King and the Ace of Wands. You yeah, know, is the four of wands, huh? The loving couple. At a minimum, this card talks with me about an upgrade in relationship. And this, there's fire all over this spread, man. It is a powerful spread. You know, that's the old 1111 card right there. This is definitely the power couple right here. The power couple right here. I'm telling you. This wave of these divines are getting ready to put it together, finally. And there's a new wave coming in of these divines just meeting right now. But this is not a brand new meeting. This is something that somebody's been working on for a while because these two have been holding on to each other with their heart chakra. There's that four of wands and that four of pentacles. These two have been mirroring each other. They're about to put it together right here. Like I said, despise not the day of small beginnings because the Taj Mahal is behind them right there. And the sun shining on their head as well. This is an outstanding reading for Aries. Yeah, look at this. In your hopes position, ten of swords, hoping for the completion of a very painful cycle. And hoping for the dawning of a new day to come in, huh? Yeah, man, I love it for you. That's that same sun that's over top of the Taj Mahal with this loving couple that are surrounded by the four wands of passion. 
Lord, it's nice. Here we go. The outcome card for an old tarot reader like me couldn't be better. It's the death card. Transformation. Transformation coming in here. This is Major Arcana. It's Scorpio. May mean something to you, may not. The other major that I have at this time is Aquarius and Aries. May mean something to you, may not. Ten of Swords, the death card as an outcome here. Death card always talks about death, birth, and resurrection, huh? This situation could have looked like it was a dead dog in the middle of the road type dead. You know, but uh, this is definitely the story of the caterpillar that became the butterfly. And that's what I'm looking at here, huh? I'm sure it hasn't been a whole hell of a lot of fun for the caterpillar when he died and turned to goo. Oh, there he is. But then the divine touches that cocoon, and when it opens up, that butterfly comes out right here. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, man. Never going back to that old Ten of Swords shit again, that's for sure. Never going back to being a caterpillar. Never going back into that cocoon ever again. Death cycle. Death card. Transformation. I could just run around the block right now. This is absolutely amazing. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Cups. Could have been a lot of confusion because this person may have bailed on you a while ago, acting like a fool, jumping off, leaving you hanging on to them with their heart chakra. You know, and Seven of Cups as well with Ten of Swords. This person, man, you know, they weren't good. That's for sure. Not to my Aries, they weren't. And that card, Seven of Cups, can talk about knowing the fact that what you own, owns you. The Three of Cups talks about a reunion, celebration, happiness, all of that. A ten right there would mean if there was a third party that this situation is done. The, the, uh, the... The transformation card as well. If they were running around acting like a fool, somebody's had an epiphany. Somebody's had some transformation because of the wheel, the wheel of fortune that uh, connects it to all four fixed Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, could all have a hand in this situation. I do have the Queen of Wands as well. These are some soulmates. They've been through hell and back. They're coming in here for you. They're bringing in transformation. I like it. I don't see a whole hell of a lot of negativeness in this. I got another major off of the bottom of the deck, the High Priestess which means many of my Aries tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, huh? Knew that this wheel of destiny was spinning in an upward direction with this two couple right here, the king and the queen of passion. Four of wands, 10 of pentacles, the transformation card, the fool, fresh start, new beginning, eight of pentacles, people working at it. Lord have mercy, does a reading get any better than this? I don't think so. It's nice stuff for whoever this is resonating with. And like I said, it's not for everybody. 500 million Aries on the planet. This is about uh, a soulmates, the king and the queen of passion coming together, making 10 of pentacles. That's heritage. That is a power couple. And there has been a transformation, a completion of a very painful cycle with somebody that was acting like a fool. Looks to me like they're going to come in and put some work on this. I'm happy for you, man. You know, I don't see you just jumping right in there because there was seven of cups, the old fool right there. There probably was third party with three of cups. But, you know, Aries looking at the situation Knowing that what they own owns them. Three of Cups can talk about a reunion, especially with the wheel. 
you know, karmic cycles that went round and round and round with these two. But I mean, if this is you that I'm talking to, you knew this was coming in the whole time with the high priestess. She's all about intuition and psychic abilities, dreaming and all of that. It's another major. It's Cancer, Pisces. It's very nice, Aries. All right. I'm going to play with my gilded right here, trimmed gilded. Hey, Terry Love Team. Let's do a uh, clarification on the death card, please. What's that death card about? Appreciate it. Thank you. Six of Swords. Yep. Coming out of those old choppy waters there, huh? Air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Coming out of those choppy waters, heading over to some smoother water. Yep, heading over to old Paradise Island. Somebody learned some serious life lessons here. That's what all those swords are about. Look, taking all those life lessons and moving into some smoother waters. Um, and the bottom of the deck here is the world card, huh? Old cycles ending and new cycles coming in. More transformation. More transformation. This ain't catching this Aries off guard. I keep looking at that high priestess right there. This Aries knew that this was going to change. Right here. Here we go. Five card movie spread on Aries friend. What they could possibly be thinking and feeling about Aries at this particular point in time. Thank you, love team. First card out is the Five of Cups. You know, there's some remorse right there. You know, I'm looking at that Fool card and all those Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Swords. You know, the old spilled cups. Wherever they were at, man, it wasn't the land of promise, that's for sure. And uh, this person is regretful about all these cups that they spilled. And they had two cups behind them right there. They can't stop thinking about those two cups right there, you know. More, please. The old River of Tears. Maybe thinking they've been out having a good time. They've been kicking their own ass right here. More, please. What's this person thinking and feeling about Aries? Oh, they've been watching you. My little princess of swords. This is my spy. They be watching you however they can. Social media, asking friends, family about you. They definitely want to talk. It's a, it's a card of communication. But, you know, they're a little nervous about it. I mean, rightly so with all these seven of cups and the fool, ten of swords and all that. To me, this is the new age princess right here. This is somebody that's realizing they don't like the world that they've been creating without you, Aries. They want to come in. They want to talk with you about that. More, please. What's this person thinking and feeling about Aries? Thank you. Thank you, love team. Two of swords, uh, you know, the old land of indecision. There may have been somebody else. We got a two here. Could be an air sign that's been, been in their world. Just saying. Somebody's been in their world with all the seven of cups and three of cups. Uh, they've been in the land of indecision while they've been watching you because, like I said, where they're at, man, there's spilled cups right there. They've been playing with a cup spiller. And the two cups behind them right there, huh? And the two swords. Uh, it's the land of limbo, but you can't live there forever because the tide's coming in. This person has to make a decision. The winds of change are blowing right here. It's blowing that blindfold off of their eyeballs right there about which way they're supposed to go and what they're supposed to do. More, please. What's this person thinking and feeling about Aries right now? Thank you, love team. The death card. They may think that they lost their opportunity with you here, but death card is the outcome on this reading. It's the second time the death card showed up. Very powerful transformation happening in this person's life. Oh, they, they realize, man, that they, well, they screwed up. I'll just put it that way, huh? Yeah, they want transformation to come in here. Scorpio energy one more time. One more for them, please. Thank you. 
And there it is right there, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to come in and give my Aries here an offer. A steady offer, you know. This I don't mind this night because this is the only night that does cross the finish line here. I'm telling you, I really feel that this person, um, they're hesitant because of the Ten of Swords, man. They don't know what's going to happen, huh? They want to come in and make an offer. They want a new start, very much so. And uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles says to me that they could be uh, putting some work in. Well, they're going to have to, are they not, with Ten of Swords right there. They're going to have to come in and put some work in it. Otherwise, Aries is just going to get in that little Six of Sword boat and just keep on keeping on. Because this is, you know, this world card is definitely about a cycle change for you. For the better, for you. Very much so. It's a nice spread, man. This person really feels that they blew it with the Aries. They really do. And they want, they want transformation. And transformation is the outcome on this spread for the King and the Queen of Wands. The Wheel, the High Priestess, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Huh? With somebody that was acting like a fool in the past. Love cards, please. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I always look at that as the divine. But if you've got friends in the 3D that would help you in this situation, somebody you can talk to, go talk with them. More, please. Religious factors came out. Four of Wands and the religious factors. It's one of those divine relationships right here. Could be major age difference, racial difference, cultural difference, religious difference, spiritual difference. All those crazy differences between these two. Working them out right here because there's passion between these two. Passion, strong passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. One more off of the bottom of the deck for my Aries is my attraction card, which talks with me about not focusing on the past. All the past is is a vibrational memory. If we reach back there and grab a low vibration memory and bring that into our now, well, we're going to change our now in a low vibrational way. Fuck that. Let, that sh let the sleeping dogs live where the sleeping dogs are at. Definitely says not to focus on the future too much either. Not be like, well, it has to come together, A, B, C, D, F, G. It talks about being in the moment and being in the now and smelling the flowers. And let this person prove themselves to you. See it over and over and over again, huh? All right, it's a nice spread, Aries. Hope you're enjoying it. Here we go. Major for Aries, please. The Emperor came out. There's Aries seated in their power. Happy day. Like I said, uh, they, they, they want transformation in there. There has been transformation in this person right here. I like this Eight of Pentacles. It's, a, it's an upgrade, definitely from Four of Pentacles to an Eight of Pentacles. Says that they're going to come in and actually put some work into this relationship. Because Aries is seated in their power. You know, I love that right there, huh? The Emperor on his throne right here. And off of the bottom of the deck, we have the Star card. Aquarius showing back up one more time. This is a card of healing and hope. Great faith. Great hope, the potential of your dreams to become reality. It is a card of healing. It is a card of dreaming and believing and being that, that angelic being right there. This Billy Badass light worker right here that knows how to manifest what they want and refuses to take no for an answer. Yeah, I love it, man. It's a very powerful reading, Aries. Hope you enjoyed it. Namaste. Love and light, my friends. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.